Now, I'm going to tell you one of the best stories you've heard. Now, that's quite a promise, isn't it? Yes. All right. It's about a man that worked for you and worked for Bobby Quinn and worked for them. I'm not going to mention his name because his son may resent the story because he's now 20, 22 maybe. At that time, he was three. And we were all concerned. The man's name was Johnny. The kid's name was Keir, K-I-E-R. And they were concerned because he never spoke. No mama, no daddy, no nothing. And they thought he might be mute or deaf. And it was quite a serious problem. We all would hear about this. They took him to doctors. N nothing is physically wrong with him. He just had nothing to say. He didn't want to talk. <laughs> He'd sit in front of the television and watch it all day. And occasionally, he would murmur some word from the television. That's all. Sunday came, and John, our friend, right. took his... Uh, stayed home with Keir, and the mother took the daughter, and they went to church. And John said to Keir, Keir, you're going to stop this bit. You're going to talk. You are going to talk. Now, picture. That's Mama. You say that, Keir. Say it, Keir. Mama. 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 Sister. Sister, Keir. S -s -s sister <laughs> And who am I, Keir? Daddy. 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 Well, John said, a miracle. Wait till they come home. They came home from church, and he said, darling, come in the room here. You can't believe what's happened. Keir. Who is this? Mama. Who is that? Sister. Who am I? Daddy. And Keir, who are you? And the kid said, my name is Harry Reasoner. <laughs> I'm gonna go. That's a wonderful story. I'm gonna go. That's a wonderful story. <laughs> Hey, I can't tell you, it was great having you here. I mean oh, that. It was Yanni, it was so nice of you to ask me.